afternoon, everybody. This is Rosette Soil and Seed. It is Saturday. I think it's the 25th. I'm not sure. But our ban in Michigan for gardening has been lifted. So, I'm going to Lowe's or Home Depot tomorrow to get some gardening supplies that I need. But in the meantime, I'm out here today watering stuff on my porch. And then I have this bed right here that used to have mint planted in it for like two years. So this is one of the varieties of mint. That is actually a chocolate mint. And where is a little seedling mint. So is this one in the back. That one in the back right there is also a piece of chocolate mint. And then right here, uh, I must have dug it up. There was another mint plant there. But these little tiny pieces right here are the mint coming back up. Now, mind you, we dug this up by the root. But the mint actually grew through a crack that was in the cement to the other side of the porch, on the other side of the rail. So that's why it's coming back. So I'm going to transplant that and put it somewhere else. But in the meantime, in my backyard... I found, well, find earthworms everywhere, but I found this wild garlic. Let's see if I can dig up one of them. This is what it's looked like here. So it has little tiny uh, onion bulbs, little tiny bulbs on it. Oh, here's one. Yeah, this is growing wild in my backyard. Now, the reason I know that they're garlic instead of onions is that with garlic, the leaf part here is actually rounded. If it was flat greens, then this would be onion, okay? So I'm gonna dig all these up out of my backyard and I'm gonna plant these um, in this box here because I would like to keep these. So all of this, Okay, another thing I found is this thing here. You may have these in your yard and you think they are weeds. This is actually an edible medicinal plant. It is called a dead nettle plant. Google this, do your own research on this before you consume any forged or wild edibles. But I have these growing in my front yard like crazy. They are everywhere. So I'm going to dig up as many of them as I can and transplant them either in a pot or something so I can see what they're going to do. But these things reseed and they come back every year. I also have clover here. I have dandelion, which you can pick dandelion greens. Eat the flowers as well. But make sure that whatever you do, that you are not spraying pesticides in your yard. My yard is pesticide free. All of it. This little spot right here is going to be where I plant my rice seed. Because it's a really tall, pretty ornamental grass. Right? And I'm also up here. Let me show you my little tiny carrot seeds that will not be left alone by the squirrel. He keeps digging in here. So that's why they keep getting moved. Like these guys are laying over. They're over here in this bucket. He's been digging around in here, hiding peanuts. So if I can get these a little bit bigger, then I'm gonna transplant them I'll keep them in the same bucket. I'm just gonna move them around and I'm gonna put some chicken wire over it so he can't get in it. All right, so we are in the backyard and this is what like a single plant will look like. See the roundness of the leaves so they're round. I have little like sporadic ones here or else I'll have like 
a bunch <laughs> over there. So we're gonna dig all these up and we are going to uh, transplant these somewhere else. And also what I found, you know people have those fairy gardens? This moss here is the stuff that they use in the fairy gardens. Look at that, stuff is all over here. So yeah. <sighs> Let's get to digging. All right, we're back up front getting ready to plant. This is all the garlic that I pulled up. And I found these little things attached to the garlic. They're called crumbs, C-R-O-M-S. And these are supposed to be attached. You usually find these with like elephant garlic, but I found them on the larger heads of garlic. And if you plant these, they will actually grow completely new garlic bulbs. So this is how I pulled them up in the little batches there. And then I took them and I shook the dirt off of it. And this is what the garlic looks like. And so I will be taking some of the larger bulbs in the house and I will be cooking those tonight. But other than that, this is what I got. Got a couple of earth worms. There's one. I don't know where the other one went. He's hiding in here somewhere. But yeah. This is what I pulled up. I didn't pull up all of them. I pulled up a good chunk of them. But they will go over here into this garden bed. Yeah, they'll go in this garden bed right here. Okay. So let's, uh, let's start planting these and get them in the ground. All right, I got the ones I dug up planted in, nice and watered. So I still got space for more. So I'll dig up some at another time. Sun is not out, so it's kind of chilly out here today. And then these are the ones that I'll be taking in the house, wash them off real good and cut them up with some potatoes or something, some vegetables, cook with those. They're over here. These little tiny ones that you see, oh, a worm needs to go in the thing over there. These little things here are the crumbs. These are the actual seeds. So I'm gonna take and separate these out. These little, little tiny ones, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I might just cook them or dry them or something. Eat the tops only, I don't know. But yeah, so that's what we got. All planted in. All right. 